Hi everybody, welcome to your peer code review. My name is Aaron and I'm going to be your moderator today. Uh, before we start, let's go around the table and have everybody introduce yourself. Starting over here. My name is Alex. I'm Karina. I'm Brandon. I'm Leif. Great, nice to meet y'all. So today we're going to be going over your code in a round system. And during each round, we're going to be looking at your code for things you've done well and things that we can improve. Uh, during each round, we're going to be looking at somebody else's code, and each person is going to have a different role. Those roles are reader, inspector, or recorder. So the inspector is responsible for leading the review, looking through the code, and calling out any segments they want to draw particular attention to. When they do that, it's the reader's job to look at that piece of code and read it out line for line. After the reader's done that, then everybody is welcome to add any comments or observations you have about that piece of code. In particular, after that's happened, if the inspector hasn't noticed that whatever the saw about the code had been called out, they should mention that point and then we can all discuss it. Once we've sort of reached a consensus about what we like or don't about that piece of code, then the recorder's responsibility is to write that down and make a note of it. Uh, so a few points. Remember we're trying to be helpful, so be nice. Um, and feel free to contribute at any time. You know, it's important that we all play a part in this and that we all get to know everybody else's code so that we can learn from it and they can learn from us. So with that, let's get started. So for our first round, Leaf, you're the inspector, so just as a reminder, you're going to call out a couple lines of code and have Karina read them off, um, and then you're going to ask everybody if they have any comments, offer your own, and then our recorder, Alex, is responsible for writing that down. You will just repeat that cycle until we call time. All right. Karina, could you please read lines 93 through 99? All right. Decimal format DF gets new decimal format of pound sign. Uh, end line. If this dot get degree equals zero, then return df dot format of this dot get zero. And that ends the if statement. All right. Does anybody have any comments for this section? Um, I think the code could be improved by writing in what decimal format actually is, and perhaps explaining what the Command. I mean, uh, the argument for the constructor decimal format is actually doing. So, like, add a comment. Um, yeah, perhaps add a comment. What the pound sign, rep the number sign represents, um, and perhaps the the role of the class decimal format. Okay, so let's make a note of that over here. Uh, so, line ninety four. Explain decimal format and clarify the meaning of the argument. Good. So let's move on to the next issue. 